you. Well, News 12 is continuing to investigate the increasingly violent conditions behind bars in state prisons. This time, a rise in attacks against corrections officers and growing concerns about staffing levels surfacing for the first time. Blaze Gomez has tonight's exclusive report. When your job is behind bars. It's not, hey, you may be assaulted one or two times in your 25 year career. It's you may be assaulted one or two times this week. There's a growing risk that advocates say now goes above the call of duty. Morale is uh, is non-existent. Staffing levels are deplorable. Chris Moreau is the vice president of NYSCOBA, the union representing state corrections officers. He gave News 12 these exclusive photos of his members injured doing their jobs at prison statewide in recent weeks. But most are too graphic to even show you on TV. There's been multiple attacks by multiple inmates on officers throughout the state. And this is, again, all since April 1st, all since HALT started. New York passed the humane alternatives to long-term solitary confinement last year, restricting prison solitary confinement times and banning its use for certain age groups and people with disabilities. The New York Civil Liberties Union backs the changes, calling solitary confinement a form of torture and potentially fatal in prolonged periods. Earlier this month, News 12 highlighted allegations of abuse behind bars by officers against inmates, which which HALT seeks to address. Moreau has a different perspective and says the act is the reason state data shows a 34% rise in violence behind bars within the last two months and why many officers aren't returning to duty. We have lost almost all of our disciplinary system as a result of HALT. Um, and because of that, there is no deterrent to behave in prison. Upstate Senator Dan Stack introduced a bill in May to repeal HALT. Since January, hundreds of COs have resigned and the number of new recruits is dwindling. The Republican cites unsustainable problems with staffing levels because of dangers advocates say no one doing their job should have to face. Blaze Gomez, News 12. A representative for a state corrections said a prison violence task force was created last year to evaluate and develop safety measures and that it supports holding violent offenders, quote, fully accountable by law. We reached out to the governor's office for comment, but have not yet heard back.